Hi, and welcome to Rear Window Reflections, where we are helping you to improve your vintage life. And today we are continuing with our mini mini series on your retro theme parties, and we are discussing food, which is one of my favorite topics. So, you have your appetizers, you have your main course, and you have your desserts, and then in our next episode, we're going to talk alcohol, but not today. So, appetizers. In the 1940s and 50s, everybody served everything on a toothpick. <laughs> so anything that you can put on the end of a toothpick is good. Mini sausages, pigs in a blanket, cheese cubes, any kind of meat on a toothpick, you're like good to go. Anything, uh, oh, deviled eggs. And any kind of dip, any kind of dip with either chips or vegetables and don't forget your canapes. Anything bite size that could be put on a little mini plate is definitely the way to go. Then you move on to your main dishes. And here we have meatloaf. Or ham with pineapple was huge. Anything with maraschino cherries added onto that pineapple, even bigger. Everybody loved that kind of stuff because pineapple specifically wasn't easily imported in the 30s and 40s. So in the early 50s, when it started being imported from Hawaii, this began, this helped begin, excuse me, the humongous like tiki craze that swept in the 50s. And it was a really big deal to see pineapple in the store. It was like considered something super exotic. And so when pineapples began to be imported and Dole started really mass producing pineapple in a can, woo! You would have thought you totally, totally hit the jackpot. Absolutely. Okay, dessert. Pineapple upside down cake, gigantic. Marshmallow rice squares. Huge. Jello salad. Oh my gosh. Anything in a jello mold? There's my molds. Anything that you could put possibly in a jello mold was absolutely the biggest, like, most sought after dessert. And pineapple upside down cake was huge. It was huge. And it wasn't that hard to make. So everybody started making it. And last of all, if you really want to make an impression, grasshopper pie. That one's my favorite. I wonder why. Okay, really my glory days here for a second. <sighs> I love you, America's Test Kitchen. Love you. Okay. Once you have all your food, like, thought out, You need to be able to have, like, when you lay at your table with your dishes that we discussed earlier, you need a tablecloth. So, any kind of tablecloth will do. This is a tablecloth. It comes in its adorable little envelope, and the tablecloth inside is the same. This um, is a tablecloth that is a reproduction of a 1940s tablecloth because of the envelope. So, everybody always had a tablecloth always but you didn't want to use the same one night after night because it got stained and they weren't doing laundry every day have you seen have you seen retro washing machines you're practically doing it by hand so they had a multitude of tablecloths and in order to keep them neat but to know which one is which they had the little envelope to match love it 
Also, if you're going for authenticity, you want an oil cloth. Very shiny, easy to wipe off, which is key when you're holding when you're hosting a big party. It's not as malleable, say, as a cloth tablecloth, but it's they're, they come in all kinds of bright colors and they're so easy to clean. It's oil cloths are great. They're really, really great. You can get it by the yard at uh, any material store, craft store, or you can order them online. But they're they're really great and they come in all kinds of adorable patterns. Doilies. I know there's something that your grandmother had on the arms of her couch and the arms of her armchair, but they really evoke the feel of the times and you can get them now and they're paper so they're disposable so you don't have to worry about using your grandmother's doilies if she happened to hand them down to you because antique linens are extremely hard to clean and really linens lace that kinds of thing that kind of thing excuse me should be almost like protected in my opinion my annie jan annie jan she keeps those kinds of scraps in um like plastic sheeting in an album to preserve them so that they aren't exposed to the sun, they don't get dusty, and they're not being used. So doilies, paper doilies, they're great. You can toss them after because inevitably somebody's gonna spill. And they will really make your table pretty. Let's have roses. I think that's it. So keep these tips and tricks in mind when you're planning your retro theme party. And don't forget to join us next time on Rear Window Reflections where we're going to be discussing boozing it up. Let me know if you have any comments as the curl turns 5-6 or on my website as the curl turns.com. And thank you so much for joining us here on Rear Window Reflections.